Yeah. What's up, Fowler Crew? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ryan. This is Tiny. What's up? All right, guys. So I'm bringing a uh, new band to the channel today. Yes. Surprising? I think not. <laughs> I'm bringing a Quiet Riot. Shh. I like that name. They're rioting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm assuming y'all know who this is. I actually don't know who this is, but the song you're doing today, I do know the song. I mean, I, I knew the band, but mainly because of the song. I never even knew who sang it. I just always <laughs> heard the song on the radio. I'm going to give a little background since they're new. Quiet Riot is an American heavy metal band found in Los Angeles in 1973. The original lineup was featured by Rose Garney and with the lead vocalist, Kevin Dubrow. Yeah, I like that name. Yeah, I do Dubrow. like that. Dubrow. Dubrow. <laughs> Brow down. <laughs> and uh, the drummer drew Forsyth. So the band actually broke up because Garney threatened to kill Dubrow. Holy cow. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? I thought that was crazy. Okay, well, I think there might have been like a behind the music. And that might be a reason why. <laughs> oh, that's a big reason. So, yeah. Somebody try to kill me. <laughs> yeah, so their most successful lineup was featuring guitarist Carlos Cavanzo and uh, bassist Rudy Sarzo. Two Zos. Cavanzo <laughs> and Sarzo. <laughs> It was also featuring the drummer, Frankie Benali. Wow. <laughs> These names is crazy right yeah. now. They're going crazy. So in 1983, they released their breakthrough album, which is called Metal Health. Not yeah. mental health, but metal health. That's right. That's Don't the type me. of health I want. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Forget the mental. So the song that we're doing today is Come On, Feel the Noise, which yeah. is a very popular song. I heard it. Very popular song. Yeah. So this song was on the album, Metal Health, and the album was released in 1983. The album went six times platinum. I can't believe that, man. So another thing which I got confused on was this song is actually a cover from the band Slade. Slade? <laughs> I don't know. It's like, a villain from Teen Titans. I was about to say he's what? a villain. Oh, yeah, that's a villain. Yeah. <laughs> so we're getting right in this thing. This is Quiet Riot. Come feel the noise. Oh, oh yeah. This is some Nightmare on Elm Street stuff. I know. Happening. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> this bedroom does not look like fun. <laughs> He's trying to turn the volume down. Or what's the mask behind his bed, too? What, what's up with that? Yeah, that's on the uh, album cover, mm. actually. There's something coming from the ceiling. His bed's shaking. He's got a freaking poltergeist or something in there. <laughs> I really like Kevin Dubrow's vocals here. I do too. Um, he kind of reminds me of Brian Johnson, the second singer from ACDC. And I believe that he passed away. Rest in peace, but uh, he definitely makes this song memorable, man. That chorus, say what you want, it's simple, but you're definitely not going to forget that. Yeah, everybody knows that. Oh, everybody. We recently did Journey. This is another stadium rock song. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The whole crowd. Going crazy. Wild, wild, yeah. wild. <laughs> I'm interested to see what's going to happen in this video. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
fire in this man yeah. it's one of those songs where I guess because it's so repetitive that kind of gets lost you know you kind of forget that it's like wow this actually does have some really good instrumentation on it love Dubrow's energy man yeah. oh yeah he's you, serving it you can hear spinning it. that freaking thing oh, yeah, I've never seen that that was different there it is yeah actually a really well-crafted song this break right here where you just hear the drums mm -hmm. how are you not gonna sing along to that I mean I've heard this song probably too many times this song is way overplayed anytime you listen to a classic rock station like all the songs overplayed there's no doubt about that you know in a way I'm kind of sick of hearing this song I've probably heard this like four times than I should but again when you come here you revisit it you listen to it in the headphones you're like okay I can get why this was loved I can see why this went six times plus platinum just for this song alone because it appeals to so many people again it's a stadium song man and when you hear these drums like this that just gets people pumped up Oh, wow. 
wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. Who is the man in the mask? Yeah, what's going on there? <laughs> oh, there's the album cover right there. I have so many questions. <laughs> I will say, for whatever reason, the audio quality on this uh, yeah. is not clear. It sounded like it was in a box. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad we did the video, though. Yeah, I have to admit that I've kind of dismissed this song in the past. I always thought it was fine. You know, I, I knew that this was a catchy hit. The instrumentation is a little better than I thought. You know, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I'm not going to put this song on my playlist. Again, just because I've heard it so many times. It's funny because I feel like it's it's a definitely a great song. I guess just for me personally, it doesn't really capture me. But I can see the appeal, man. It's a much better song than I originally thought. I'm in the same exact boat as you are. I have heard this song a billion times. <laughs> so every time I hear it, it's just like I'm on auto you know autopilot yeah. i don't know what it is but the song just puts me on autopilot i don't hate it i don't love it i don't even register that i'm hearing it because i've heard it so many times but i mean it's it's fine every time it's on you know i'm gonna i'm gonna say wild wild <laughs> if, it, if it's on in the background i will chant come on feel the noise. how do you not it's just yeah. too catchy yes. way too catchy even Absolutely. if you don't like it you're gonna know this yes another mm. thing i want to say this is another video where the drummer had a gong what was it with the drummers and the gongs back then? Because every 80s band has a gong. <laughs> well, I don't know about everyone. But. Well, every, hey, everyone that I can recall, <laughs> they've had a gong in the back. This is already on my playlist, so I already had it. Like I said, I don't really listen to this kind of music all the time, so for yeah. me... It hasn't overplayed for you. Exactly. Yeah. It's still on your mind fresh. And that's not yeah. the band's fault. It's, it's the radio's fault that Radio. we've heard it so radio's many times. Fault. And the thing is, it doesn't just get played on classic rock. Yeah. It'll get played on those stations that play like a variety of music, too. Mm -hmm. This is everywhere. So we haven't been able to escape it. <laughs> no. Every time you turn around, it's so, girls uh, rock your boys. <laughs> so, uh... It's kind of made a victim in that way. If this is like a song that you love, I get it, man. I think there's another song of theirs that was really big. Let us know if they have any deep cuts. You guys know the drill. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. And as always, please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and hitting that bell. Peace, Peace out. out. Metal. Okay. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> See my face. <laughs> no. I ran out of breath. <laughs>